फीचर्स और वी विल स्टडी आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ पिक माइक्रो कंट्रोलर सो इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट्स रिगार्डिंग स्टडीज पॉइंट्स देन वी विल हैव सम डाउट क्लियरिंग अदरवाइज वी विल प्रोसीड टूवर्ड्स टूडेज टॉपिक so if you have any doubt, doubts then we can discuss or i will proceed hello hello am i audible no sir no hello yes sir yes sir yes sir yes uh, uh, am i audible to you Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. I have asked you about uh, if you have any queries or any doubts uh, regarding yesterday's session, then uh, you can raise uh, all doubts. Uh, I can uh, discuss here. Or uh, if you do not have any doubts, then we can proceed towards our next topic. Hello. अरे काल टॉपिक बदल कु डाउट है का जर न सेल तो अपन सर कंटिन्ू करू सर काल थोड़ी जन हो थोड़क एक्सप्लेन कर गोष्टी बदल पीन आउट संगा कि सर ओवरऑल शॉर्ट शॉर्ट स्क्रीन दिस्ते 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 ओके सो सी आई एम अगेन रिपीटिंग पॉइंट्स हियर एडजोर फाइव एन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर फैमिली इट इट कंटेन्ट्स वेरियस फैमिली मेम्बर्स ओके सो फैमिली मेम्बर्स रेंजिंग फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी पीन आई सीज और फोर्टी पीन आई सीज और मोर लाइक फोर्टी पी फोर्टी फोर पीन आई सीज ओके और इवन इट इट कैन इट कंटेन्स मोर पीन्स लाइक वन ट्वेंटी टू और हंड्रेड पीन आई सी ऑल्सो देर एज पर एप्लीकेशन और एप्लीकेशन ड्रीविंग ड्राइविंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ माइक्रो कंट्रोलर्स मीन्स वॉट एवर various or additional function functionalities uh, microcontroller developers have given as per those functionalities ic's pin out or pin necessary pin pins count has been increased okay but right now we are only concentrating on dip package of 40 pins okay so in those 40 pins as we, all of we are aware about microcontroller contains four ports Out of which uh, those ports are named as port one, then port two, port three, and uh, sorry, uh, first one is the port zero port. Those four ports are there. So if you look uh, after each and every port, then you will realize that uh, ports pin uh, that is or bits port one point zero or port one point one. Those bits are sequentially mapped to each. pin of microcontroller okay is this point clear port pins are sequentially mapped to sequentially uh, pins of microcontroller so for 8 bits we will we will require 8 pins so pin number 1 to pin number 8 are allocated or mapped for port 0 uh, sorry port 1 okay then port num uh, sorry pin number 9 is reserved or made available for reset pin okay then uh, here uh, as we have already uh, seen in uh, reset circuit here we will use a capacitor okay then a resistor for compensation purpose and the connection between capacitor and resistor will be given at this reset pin so we can reset microcontroller as per our need or necessity then pin number 10 to pin number 7 those pins are, are reserved or mapped for port 3 okay so, uh, so pin number 10 will be mapped for port 3.0 pin number 11 will be mapped for port 3.1 pin number uh, 12 mapped for port 3.2 uh, likewise 
but here one point you need to understand that each pin or each port 3 bit is having alternate functionality alternate functionality means uh, every port uh, as it is uh, we are uh, saying that it is a port so every port pin uh, will have its main function means which is nothing but input and output uh if you want to read some from external sensors or external data the port will work as input port or that port per pin will work as input port pin if you want to send uh, data externally that port will be going to work as a output port i hope this point uh, uh, clear up to you then uh, alternate functions means what beside input output this particular port will work at, or this particular port pin ha will have another functionality okay sometime it may it will work as a uh, input output port pin or sometime it will work as uh, as alternate function whatever alternate function which is given to uh, allow, uh, defined for that particular pin this pin will work accordingly so if you look for pin number 10 it has alternate function as a rxd rxd means while whenever we will using serial communication at that time this port pin will be used to receive data serially okay so uh, uh, whenever we will be using serial communication at that time only this pin will be used as for receiving data otherwise it will be used as normal io pin is it clear hello Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Okay. So how alternate functions uh, are used, or how alternate functions are mapped to any port or any uh, uh, pin, is disclosedly uh, we can study here. Okay. The next port pin is pin uh, pin number or IC pin is pin number eleven, and which has normal uh, functionality, which is nothing but port three point one, and as well as it has alternate function. txt so to what uh, txt uh, it's uh, uh, role of txt uh, transmitting TXD. data serially yes correct uh, whenever we will be using serial communication at that time this pin will be used for serial data transmission okay likewise pin number 12 will be used as an interrupt whenever we will have external interrupts okay uh, at that time we will be using Uh, this p3.2 pin and external interrupt signal we will be connecting to p3.2 or uh, if if i i will have a, uh, more than one interrupt signal then second interrupt signal i will connect to p3.3 so i can use two external hardware interrupts uh, and all of you know interrupt is an expected event which is going to stop programs execution for for a while okay but it is a high priority task rather than our program okay so i we can connect here uh, interrupt signals to p, uh, pin number 12 or pin number 13 okay uh, if you have not connected interrupt signal then our port pin will work as normal io pins and if you have connected those uh, interrupt pins uh, here and uh, in uh, sfr configuration if you have enabled interrupts then and then only those pins will work as a int if you have not enabled interrupt then these pins will work as normal io pins okay uh, how you can enable interrupt you can go in ie register and in ie register there is a bit allocated for same interrupt same those pins for timers yeah uh, we can use as normal io as well as for timer starting a timer using external clock pulse or we can use those pins for as a counters also so to count external clock pulses okay again we have two uh, uh, timers and two counters so we have two se separate pins available for this functionality then pin number 16 and 17 are used for write and read signal so oh, when we will be using this write and read signal 
whenever a microcontroller will connect external memory at that time just a minute i will go to ha huh, whenever we will connect external memory at that time we will send memory address as well as data okay so memory will receive address and data but memory must have to know uh, at xyz address i need to write something or i need to read something so memory must have to understood so how memory will be memory is going to understand whether i need to write data or whether i need to read data so as per this read or write signal memory will understand that i need to write on that particular memory location or i need to read okay so those are the read and write signals which can be used for external memory interface external memory interfacing okay then uh, pin number 18 and 19 can be used for crystal connecting crystal oscillator then pin number 20 for uh, ground okay so uh, crystal oscillator is the heart of uh, microcontroller without crystal microcontroller will not work so we have to use uh, crystal we uh, we can use crystal up to 40 megahertz but standard operating frequency of uh, 805 one is 11.0592 megahertz okay so we as per our requirement or application requirement we can connect here crystal and crystals to terminal to terminal are connected to pin number 18 19 and other two sorry uh, uh, for compensation purpose we can use a capacitor 33 picofarad capacitor which will uh, eliminate additional noise uh, from crystal okay so i hope uh, is this left side is clear to all of you hello yes sir yes sir okay yes, sir. so uh, left side is bit a complex uh, as compared to right so right side is straight forward it it contains pin number 21 to 28 28 are the port two pins and it has alternate function of address higher order address then uh, how uh, how what is role of this higher order address we can easily interpret after seeing this port 0 so uh, if you look after port 3 then each pin of port 3 or each bit of port 3 has separate dual function means i can use only rxd without using all other functionalities i can use only rxd without using any other functionality but here uh, on right hand side we have two ports and uh, if you want to use this ports alternate function you must have to use both both ports together okay and again this uh, application will be used uh, with external memory interfacing for example i have this external memory okay since i am using memory or i want to access memory i need to send address to memory okay on which address i have to uh, perform read operation or write operation and as well as i need to send uh, sorry i need i must have a data bus which will be a bidirectional data bus okay because microcontroller will be reading data from memory as well as writing data on memory so uh, address bus will be only unidirectional data bus will be bidirectional and simultaneously over read as well as write signals okay so whenever i am using external memory interface at that time only i will be i will use those signals so uh, as we all of you know that we can interface maximum of 64 kilobytes of rom 
How 64 kilobytes of ROM since microcontroller have 16 bit address bus. Okay. So 2 raised to 16 is nothing but 64. So how what are those 16 bits of address? Those are nothing but from A0 to A15. Means A0, A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, A7, then a8, A9, A10, A11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So those are uh, 16 bits of addresses. So I will write here from A0 to A7 and A8 to A15. So I have grouped uh, all 16 bits into 8 bit fashion. So I will have one byte of this and one byte of this. Uh, because we usually write any 8 bit number in the format of, uh, sorry, uh, any binary number in the format of 8 bit fashion. So it is uh, quite simple for me to access or to read data. Uh, in hexadecimal number system. So, uh, since it is 16 bit, we can call it as a higher order and it is nothing but lower order. Since it is higher order byte and it is lower order byte of address. Okay. Uh, is it clear? Higher order and lower order to all of you? What is what the, yes, what is mean? Yes, okay. sir. Okay. So, uh, here, if you uh, look carefully, you will notice that here not only A, but also there is D0 bit uh, or D0 indication is also there. What it means by D0? It means it will carry address as well as data bit. So as it is noted A0, it is also a functionality of D0. A1, D1. A2, D2. A3, D3. A4, D4, A5, D5, A6, D6, A7, D7. Okay. So, uh, how we can predict that at any given time instant, it will carry address or it will carry data? Because we need to differentiate between address as well as data. Uh, understand? Because memory has to know about what are the address bits and what are the data bits otherwise memory will get confused uh, it will assume that uh, data bits for data bits it will assume address or for address bit it will assume the data so we need to clear so at uh, for differentiation purpose the ALE this ALE pin plays very important role how whenever I am access uh, accessing external memory okay microcontroller will generate address as per our program uh, counter status okay so whenever microcontroller will generate address at that time ALE will go a high from low to high state ALE will go sorry so whenever uh, those pins from pin uh, pin number 39 to, sorry pin number 21 to pin number th 39 except these three whenever those pins are carrying address the status of ale will be high okay so whenever ale is high i can predict that those pins are carrying address okay and whenever ale goes low it will carry data Okay, so uh, sorry, not D0. I want to write here data. So, this uh, state uh, by observing status of ALE, we can simply predict, uh, simply differentiate or uh, separate address as well as data. So, here we can implement any logic, such a logic that which will operate on uh, this principle. Okay, so I can use here as a simple switch which will connect 
or the switch will uh, make itself on whenever status of ale is here i will show suppose here is a ale okay and here is normal uh, elect no, normal switch not normal but, il, uh, but electrically operated switch so whenever ale is high this switch is connected to here or whenever ale is low this switch is open so there will be no connect, connection between it and when switch is open we will have data uh, signal on data bus when signal is uh, switch is connected we will have signal on address bus okay is this simple logic clear to you how address and how address and data is demultiplexed hello yes sir yes sir okay so uh, by using this ale principle we can separate address as well as data so memory will have address and data separated after generation of address microcontroller will send read or write if i want to read a particular memory location then my microcontroller send will send a read read signal or if i want to write some data on memory location microcontroller will send right uh, uh, sorry sorry uh, uh, write signal okay so as per microcontroller's application it will generate this read or write signal but here see read and write are both are bar means whenever microcontroller will generate read signal it means it will pull down that particular line okay likewise ale ale is high pulse okay but while read or write both pins are operating on low since the, it is nothing but or it is give, noted like with bar so whenever this uh, right pin pin number 16 is pulled down at that point of time microcontroller or memory will understand that on this given address i need to write data which will be coming from this address bus okay or uh, when microcontroller pull down this read pin at that time memory will understand that from given this given address of from address bus i need to read data and send on data bus okay so this is functionality of port 1 sorry port 0 and port 2 combined for address and data with address latch enable pin status clear then uh, uh, it 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 has alternate function Uh, sorry not alternate it its primary function is nothing but our regular input and output port pin and alternate function is higher higher order address lower order address and data okay so let me clear the first so once again i i i am going to repeat this so what are alternating functions for port 2 port 2 have only one alternate function which is combined alternate function that is nothing but higher order address okay port 0 ha have alternate function which is nothing but sorry lower order address and data okay so if you uh, summarize this then port 2 will be having three functionalities that is simple io port lower order address and data port 2 will have two functionalities simple io port hi higher order address port 1 does not have any alternate functionality it will be used as normal port port as input or output and port 3 have uh, uh, separate or individual functionalities individual pins have individual functionalities is this point clear to all of you so yesterday i have given you a homework about making minimum connection by observing those functionalities and minimum connections for uh led switch relay optocoupler and i think uh, dc motor so for making minimum function we need to uh, give some connections for example i need to connect this vcc to plus 5 volt 
ground to our uh, regular board ground i need to connect here crystal i need to connect reset circuit then uh, external access whether i am uh, ha this pin is again important whether i am uh, using external memory for pro storing program or internal memory so if you connect this pin to vcc then microcontroller will realize that you have not connected any external memory okay what what it means whenever ea is high means uh, you are not connecting any external memory or if when you connect external memory uh, sorry ea pin to ground see uh, here given as ea bar external access bar whenever you will connect this pin low at that time you need to remove this connection okay otherwise it, vcc or ground will be short so whenever you will connect this pin to ground at that time microcontroller will understand that i i am having external memory okay or partial external and partial internal memory for example i have written some code and uh, some lines of code uh, i have stored on external memory so that at that time i am using external memory and whenever you are it is clear that uh, external memory is interface at that time only those alternate functionalities will be in action if you connect ea to vcc then those functionalities will not be able to work on microcontroller uh, uh, port 0 and port 1 at that time only port 0 and port 2 will be worked as normal io ports clear is this clear to you hello yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. okay so uh, first see i need to connect vcc to VC, plus 5 volt ea to plus 5 volt or vcc since i am not going to use external memory this ale is uh, uh, since ea is connecting to vcc there is no need of connecting e ale because external memory is not connected so program store enable is also not need to connect then uh, ground is need to connect to uh, our uh, power supply ground crystal i need to connected between these two pins and i need to connect reset to reset circuit this is the minimum circuit connection i need to have or i need to use to for any application clear about this hello yes sir. yes yes sir. okay so i think i have repeated this point third time isn't it so so hope you will be going to uh, do homework whatever task i have given to you do as early as possible okay uh, then our next point it's uh, this is also a plc so uh, 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 footprint of our uh, microcontroller so it, if you look well, there are for port one also there are uh, there are dual function okay so as uh, as you go with higher models you will notice that there are some occasions that some pins have more than two three functionalities also but uh, for simplicity purpose we are since we are going to, uh, studying only basic version of 8051 we will refer only this Uh, DIP forty pin model. Okay. Next, uh, minimum connection, and I have given this uh, homework to you for uh, five circuits. So I will directly go to uh, or start to features of peak microcontroller. Okay. Uh, now this point is clear to all of you. Yes sir. Yes sir. Okay. So, uh, let me open the peak presentation. So, what it means by peak? Kaule kuna sito orar the tezar banda kara. What it means by peak? Peak stands for programmable interface controller. 
programmable interface controller so initials of these words are referred uh, directly as pic programmable p interface and controllable so we can have an interface of uh, various devices but we can program them okay that microcontroller is introduced by microchip in 1989 uh, it has very uh, low cost as compared to applications or features provided by uh, microchip then uh, uh, high performance it is a cmos type microcontroller so basically it is built on cmos chip it is fully static microcontroller then uh, pic uses hardware architecture as we have discussed uh, and but it follows cisc instruction set uh, remember uh, we have discussed about hardware as well as uh, risc and cisc then uh, it has flash memory programmable memory so it can be programmed using mplab devices then it has some data memory also sram then uh, eprom uh, with flash it also has eprom so it can be programmed at run time this eeprom can be programmed during run time for uh, storing permanent data through program this eprom is very much important or it it plays a crucial role okay so what are the those are the features we have uh, uh, if you look those features those are uh, very common or similar features uh, if you skip those first two three lines then those are very much similar features to microcontroller or any basic microcontroller that it can contains uh, ram rom uh, architecture etc etc but it supports those high end uh, features in its low level family member uh, but if you look in microcontroller 8051 then in 8051 you will not have any high end feature in lower version as we have discussed 40 pin ic it does not have any high end feature but pic support all high end features from its uh, lower model also so what are the high end features pic has built in power on reset then it has brownout reset uh, what is difference between power on reset and brownout reset so power on reset means uh, we can reset microcontroller uh, uh, whenever power supply is made on at that time within one instruction cycle microcontroller will be resetted okay so whenever we made or we uh, make power supply on after some time some some means what the time required to charge capacitor yesterday i have shown how uh, reset circuit can be drawn so how what is the role of capacitor so the time required to charge capacitor is nothing but uh, that some time so after some time microcontroller will be resetted and uh, it will start its own working and uh, what is brownout reset means brownout reset means uh, during application there is there is some time or uh, some cases at that time power supply voltage drops below uh, rated value rated value means for example uh, 4.5 volt we can set th that rated value in peak means uh, we can give standard rated value that from below 4.5 volt we have to reset microcontroller or below 4 volt we can reset microcontroller yes uh, likewise you can set uh, power, power supply value so below that rated value if power supply voltage goes down then microcontroller will be resetted until and unless uh, power supply regains that particular value suppose uh, at any instance of time microcontrollers power supply drops below 4.5 suppose 4.5 is a rated value drops below 4.5 and after uh, one hour two hour or three hour or after one minute two minute three minute it again regains that 4.5 volt level okay suppose this dotted line is the 4.5 volt level and this is our 
regular 5 volt level so microcontroller will be in working stage though it power supply is dropped from 5 volt to 4.5 volt okay this dotted line is the 4.5 volt line and uh, this top line is the 5 volt line. so, so uh, why this uh, such a type of reset is provided because during some spike uh, spikes or external noise there uh, there are spikes which are generated in our circuit so what to avoid uh, breakdown mechanism or avoid uh, failure of microcontroller we will force microcontroller to go in resetted states so during this particular time microcontroller will not in working stage it will be on but it will not work okay so systems are on but microcontroller will not work and after this microcontroller will start working so during this particular time microcontroller will not work okay so that is advantage of brownout reset then watchdog timer so this is an again interesting feature of microcontroller which is used to see or make watch whether your program is continue uh, executing continuously or not okay so for example uh the, if you due to some logical mistake we have made a, such a loop which is only infinite running loop okay which is continuously running and we have generated a infinite running loop for example let us consider uh, assume for example uh, in c program i have written such a statement while one and opening curly bracket and closing curly bracket in that particular case my microcontroller will be continuously in that loop it will not come outside this loop okay so uh, or uh, uh, there are some cases where uh, we have assumed that i will have input from external device at particular x amount of time but due to unavailability of external device or external uh, quantity, I will not have input. So microcontroller will be continuously checking that particular pin. Continuously checking. Suppose I have written a statement like that. If uh, I'm just writing pseudocode, I'm not writing correct uh, code. If P A in my peak, there are uh, port nomenclature like port A, not port 1, port 2. PA.0 is equal to equal to 1. Okay. Means what I am doing, I am checking. Port A.0 bit is 1. If it is 0, then I am again checking. Port A.0 bit is 1. I am checking this state unless port a point zero becomes one means uh, i'm continuously in a loop so if due to external problem if uh, external device is unable to make this pin high my microcontroller will be continuously in this loop okay so at that time my further procedure or further execution of program will be stopped so to uh, get back from this loop this watchdog timer feature is provided what uh, this watchdog timer what will do it uh, here also we can give some time to microcontroller so after each two millisecond uh, let us assume i have given two millisecond time after each two millisecond time, microcontroller will give, sorry, uh, this watchdog timer will give a reset signal to microcontroller. Okay. After each two milliseconds of time, let us assume that I have give, set a value or time as a two millisecond. And after each two millisecond time interval, this watchdog timer will be reset microcontroller. So whenever I will be busy continuously in checking this port, I am I will get reset pulse after two milliseconds. 
okay so it uh, as i will be uh, as i am resetted i will start my uh, functioning right from beginning okay so this timer is very useful to keep your device awake condition okay it will not uh, let your device go into infinite loop condition or in our uh, regular language we can say hang mode our device is like hangs okay but as this uh, watchdog timer is continuously going to reset microcontroller after two each two millisecond there might be a cases that our application will take more than two millisecond to work so we need to give reset signal to that timer before two millisecond okay so in uh, our language we can say if you do not reset watchdog timer it will reset microcontroller okay so uh, you are resetting watchdog timer means you are working fine you are not in infinite running states that's why you are resetting microcontroller but if you have not reset sorry you have not resetted watchdog timer but if you have not resetted watchdog timer means you are in hang state or a loop state so you need to take uh, get back from this loops condition so watchdog timer will give reset and you will get out of it clear watchdog timer we will again uh, discuss uh, in detail watchdog timer while uh, developing applications but for introduction uh, i think this is uh, enough for you then uh, it also supports power saving modes so what it means by power saving mode or whenever it will require whenever power saving modes will be required hello hello am okay. i audible ha yeah. whenever power saving modes will be required for me hmm when uh, pic is not in working condition uh why working condition our device will be continuously uh, into working condition as i have developed a embedded system an embedded system then my embedded system will be working in 24 by 7 at least whenever there is a power supply my system will be in working condition uh -huh. then why i will need a power saving sleep mode look for example uh, take your your project's example for example we have designed a project which is uh, turning uh, home lights on whenever there is a, a dark situation okay uh, do you know when there will be a dark situation dark condition at night at night but during day time there might be a possibility of uh, having dark uh, condition yes like today's weather okay so uh, uh, at that uh, uh, to read this condition we will have or we will use some sensor light sensing sensor so light sensing sensor will sense light and after sensing light we will have input but generally Uh, in 365 days if you look then out of those 365 days we will have only 3 4 or 5 days which will uh, having conditions like today that uh, no sun will be there that's why in our room there will be situation of dark condition so for only 3 4 5 days is it uh, 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 is it makes sense to uh, ha uh, have a co checking continuously checking our light sensing sensor no so uh, light sensing sensor will uh, we, we need to interface light sensing sensor to sense uh, dark condition at night okay but uh, for sensing during day time we need to uh, continuously check our light sensing sensors input so we need to make uh, such a program that it will continuously check our light sensors input after each minute or each hour 
not our uh, is not uh, uh, is not making sense because uh, during ev evening time if you check now and after one hour it is going to check then uh, between this if there is a dark situation then it will not uh, system is not work so i need to check after each minute so if this, there is a such a situation that my, my system will be continuously consume power as my microcontroller will be in continuously working phase so uh, what i can do is i can make or uh, i can uh, force my microcontroller to go in sleep mode between those one minute or uh, i will connect my sensor to interrupt pin okay so uh, So there is there whenever there is a change of state on uh, sensors condition from day to dark condition or light to dark condition then and then only microcontroller pin status uh, sorry uh, sensors pin status will be changed and microcontroller will uh, uh, recognize yes pin status has been changed means now condition has been changed so uh, whenever there is a change at that time only microcontroller will be in action otherwise there is no need to work or no need to give power uh, consume power uh, by given microcontroller so at that time our uh, power saving sorry power saving modes are in uh, uh, modes are very helpful for such a condition so uh, in short if inputs are uncertain you don't know whenever there will be input inputs are uncertain at that time we can uh, activate or enable power saving mode because input is uncertain and to get back from sleep mode we must have to use or there must be a interrupt interrupt or reset how microcontroller will be uh, come back from sleep mode either it should be interrupted whether it may be a software interrupt or a hardware interrupt or it should be resetted from our reset switch but if uh, we have deployed our system at any remote location then there will be no any manual reset so this case will be uh, not in picture so only interrupt Uh, we need to have to uh, use interrupt interrupt functionality with sleep modes because uh, to get back microcontroller from sleep sleep mode only interrupt will be useful as our micro uh, systems are deployed in some uh, remote locations then interrupt control in peak in azure fiven it supports only five interrupt sources but peak can support Twelve interrupt sources. So as you have more interrupts, you have more function functionalities for uh, performing number of maximum number of tasks. Okay. Then next point is serial communication. It has built-in serial peripheral interface (SPI) as well as I I to C with A regular max to 3d or with regular uart as azure fiven it peak also has uart but with uart it has inbuilt spi or uh, and i2c bus or i2c features it also supports serial programming via two pins then uh, it again uh, Uh, supports virial crystal frequencies like 8051 it does not have any standard frequency whatever crystal do you want to use you can use okay or you can also connect external simple rc network for uh, crystal uh, sorry frequency purpose or any external clock clock pulse from any external source okay in peak when machine cycle or uh, in peak machine cycle is referred as machine cycle is referred as instruction cycle ic 
instruction cycle okay so in edge of heaven one machine cycle consists of consist of 12 clock pulses okay so whenever a crystal generates 12 clock pulses means microcontroller will have only one machine cycle but while in case of peak four clock pulses consists or forms one instruction cycle so instruction cycle is nothing but machine cycle and in peak only or peak takes only four clock cycles or clock pulses for application so if you see the correlation then you will realize that from uh, machine cycle perspective only our microcontroller or peak it's at least three times faster okay it will require 12 while peak will do that same work in four clock pulses okay so it is three times faster as per perspective of machine cycles or instruction cycles so this is again very much uh, very interesting feature to uh, operate our devices with higher speeds so i have discussed here uh, watchdog timer so, uh, already we have seen what is a watchdog timer watchdog timer is a free running on chip rc oscillator which does not require any external component likewise uh, like our timer uh, it is a free running timer independent of main system clock the watchdog timer is activated when its time period is exceeds uh, as i have told you uh, suppose for example we have set time period to 2 millisecond so after 2 millisecond watchdog timer will be activated during normal operation watchdog timer uh, watchdog timer time out generates a device reset okay so for normal operation it will generate uh, reset in sleep mode watchdog timer time out causes device to wake up and continue with normal operation uh, in sleep mode also watchdog timer can reset our microcontroller as well as in uh, infinite loops also then uh, brownout detector or uh, brownout reset is a circuit that causes computer processor to reset in the event of brownout which is significant drop in power supply output voltage okay significant drop in power supply output voltage if processor receives ab abnormal low voltage and continues to operate anyway it will produce illogical output okay why uh, illogical because we know that one is logical one is represented uh, by 5 volt sorry 5 volt is represented by logical one and zero is represented re represented by zero volt if there is a such a huge drop and which is uh, going to uh, zero volt then it is going to again change our uh, outputs if vdd falls below vbor vbor the, is the value for example uh, 4 volt for longer than tbor tbor means certain amount of time that is particular xyz time for example 100 microsecond then brownout situation will reset device okay so if vdd falls below vbor or less than tbor reset may not occur vdd means our power supply voltage falls below this Uh, uh predefined value okay less than this time then microcontroller will not reset for example this is sorry for example this is the situation okay and um, this is my dotted line is my vbor value and yes power supply dropped below this value but it, the time period between this is very small or very small means less than tbor 
then it will not reset microcontroller but in this case or in such a case microcontroller will be resetted as time period is uh, greater than tbr okay uh, is this clear word doc timer and brownout detector yes sir okay so i think uh, those points are enough for today uh, i have given yesterday uh, assignment to you and i will also post uh, assignments on our google classroom so complete assignment and submit uh, on classroom itself only okay and if you have any queries doubts related to all today's and yesterday's topics then you can ask me now or uh, post on our classroom hello anyone have any query no sir okay if you if you do not have any query then we can stop today Okay.